This right here is the daily routine of a Project Zomboid survivor. Claudette really likes to wash herself off in order to become a little bit more presentable. After that, we like to have ourselves a little bit of breakfast. A very nutritious and delicious banana. Yum. And lastly, fantasize about how many zombies we're gonna kill today. It's gonna be a lot. We don't have that much ammo, nor do we have a lot of resources, but that's gonna change today as I'm gonna... I'm gonna undertake something massive. It's not actually a part of the town, it's a little bit of a side mission. But I think Claudette has what it takes to take a nice little visit over towards the Rosewood, uh, prison. There's gonna be a lot of zombies, but in order to offset that, there's also gonna be a bunch of ammo, weapons, and supplies for us, which I need. I mean, killing zombies ain't cheap, you know? And even if it's gonna take a full day or so to clear them out properly, I think it'll be well worth it. I mean, look what a single firebomb and some shotgun shells did. Cleared out quite, quite the nice swath of land. And speaking about that, I'm just gonna go ahead, kill these two zombies, take our van, and I will uh, show you exactly where we're gonna be going. There it is. Alrighty, now that we're off on the road, it's gonna be an easy shot over towards the Rosewood Prison. This isn't really a part of like the, the actual goal for the series. I just really want to clear it out. And I mean, it's a prison full of zombies. Of course I'm gonna have to try, right? <laughs> and I think it'll be fun, okay? So let me figure out where the hell this uh, prison is. Okay, so it'll be down the road just a tiny bit more and we will make it on over. Now, I will say this right now. We're not gonna go in guns blazing as I only have around 69 millimeter, which isn't enough at all to clear out the entire prison. And my plan is to kind of uh, cut a swath of land right to the armory so we can arm ourselves and then begin with the actual massacre. I think that'll be the best vibe for it. Though, I don't know how bad it's actually gonna be. <laughs> Plans can change very quickly. Well, despite that, here we are at the Rosewood Prison. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> Look at all those dots, dude. Uh, I'm gonna park down a little bit of a ways down. And is that a mint condition police vehicle right there? That it is. Okay, that's actually pretty awesome. But now we're gonna kind of uh, turn this into a bit of a stealth mission. Try and kill every single zombie that we come across with a uh, melee. So you know exactly what time it is. It's murdering time. Claudette is getting so freaking powerful with this axe, by the way. It is absolutely insane. And do we got anything good in here? Ooh, an extra box of nine mil? Not bad at all. Does this thing have a set of keys in it? Because I will gladly ditch my van for a police vehicle. Namely, just for the siren alone. Damn it. No key. That is a bummer. We do have a map, though, of Louisville. I, I, I will definitely not clear out that town. There's actually, like, a hundred thousand zombies there. <laughs> okay, so right now, our, our main goal is to clear out this horde and get into that little offshoot building off the side. If I can get inside there, clear it out without bringing too much attention to my name, we will be able to get access to the armory. It's actually not a part of the prison. It's its own little separate building, which is extremely nice, given how many zombies there are in the area. The only thing we need to be cautious about is our character stamina. <laughs> Swinging around this axe is, it's, it's not an easy task. Whew. Not bad at all. Also, another thing that I forgot to uh, mention is that I installed a new kill counter. So this will tell us exactly how many zombies we kill with each weapon, which includes fire. Sadly, I didn't have it on the first episode, but now we can know for sure how many zombies we're actually going to kill, which is extremely nice. And it looks like there's going to be quite a bit. <laughs> uh, who would have thought that the kill series would have so much action in it? We've made it over to the, uh, little offshoot building, though, and there are definitely a few zombies here. Uh, I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to manage them pretty well with just our axe skill. Oh, man. The population really likes to increase after a bit, though. But yes, this is gonna be my whole plan. We're gonna get little groups, lead them out, and take care of them, sit down for a bit, and repeat the process. With this method, we should be able to get inside very quickly. And oh my gosh, Claudette just hits like a freight train <laughs> like look at that those are just one stop chops 
literally dissecting zombie heads in like one to three swings. Holy hell. <laughs> I love axes. Oh, you really can't have enough sometimes. So the only problem is we only have three. So I'm hoping we'll be able to kill them all before I run out. It never gets any easier, does it? Oh, man. Oh, there goes our first hand axe. Uh, it's still repairable, so I will keep it around, but that is a bummer. <laughs> we have one more full condition uh, hand axe and a uh, half broken fire axe. Uh, we're, we're cleared it out pretty well though, you know? We're leaving a uh, few bits of corpses in the way, but I think this is definitely the best strategy in order to up our current game, right? I'm sure we'll find some more axes later, and <laughs> come on. They're going to use pretty damn nicely right about now. We've made it inside the armory. Let's turn on the lights, sit down for a minute. There's still quite a few inside, but I've been leading them towards the windows well enough to where I can just get an easy ground pound. Okay, of course, not in that uh, regard because the zombies are really stupid sometimes, but we're getting it. I mean, Claudette is a, it's, it's, she's a monster. She's genuinely a monster. Um, we only have like two levels in axe and we've already killed a hundred just in this little swath of land alone. She's scary. She's scary. <laughs> like I did it, like I, I straight up one shot zombies and there's nothing they can do about it other than just sit and watch me just absolutely kick their little butts. Ain't that right, sir? Oh, the humanity. And this is just the hand axe, one of the weakest axes you can get. And it is just still putting in the work. <laughs> what else can I say? Ain't that right, prison guard, sir? Yeah, he knows what's up. Hey, there it is. We got a set of house keys as well. And it looks like that this uh, place is just about cleared out. So I think we can begin with uh, phase two of our plan. Right upstairs is gonna be where, th where the real bread and butter lies. I'm crossing my fingers we can get up there without arousing too much suspicion. Yes, we can. Okay, and it looks like the doors have been opened for me. <laughs> hey, check it out. We got a new armory, which you know what that means. More ammo, more weapons. I'm gonna be taking the MSR rifle, every single box of shotgun shells you got, all of that good stuff right now. Oh, it's a good day to be me, that's for damn sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, is that a free M14 rifle as well? Holy heck. This day just keeps on getting better and better. And she wants to ruin it. Get out of here, ma'am. You don't belong here. Come on, there you go. We actually might need to do a couple of trips just to grab everything right now. We definitely have enough shotgun shells to put in a lot of work. And I want to keep the M14 around to when we get a little bit better with aiming. Get out of here, ma'am. You're ruining my vibes. Oh, yeah, we have so much shotgun shells. Okay, we're going to have to do this into multiple trips then. Oh, look at this. Multiple M9, some... Yeah, we really got the setup here, though I'm going to be dropping off a lot of it into the trunk as a lot of the space is going to be taken up by just weapons, right? So get out of here, ma'am. I, I need to make my way back to the van. We'll drop it off, and then uh, I think we might start up a siren and get all the zombies out of the prison into the lot to where I can fight them. Though that might be a tomorrow type deal, as it is getting kind of late right now. And you know, I don't really want to jeopardize my whole life. But yes, let's go drop off everything we've gotten so far right into this handy dandy trunk. M14, MSR rifle, M1911, one of the Molotov cocktails. All I need is one right now and we'll be all set. And I think we ought to help ourselves to some ice cream. Okay. Let's go grab that rest of that ammo before stuff gets a little bit worse out. We're getting exhausted and tired, so fighting zombies in melee combat isn't going to be much of an option for us anymore. We're here to get in, grab the goods, and get out. Purely now. And ooh, I will take that M9 pistol. It has a red dot and a laser. Oh, man. That's better than the one that I have right now. Oh, yeah. Check out that bad boy. Ooh, wee. That's a winner. Okay, we got quite the haul. Out of that second trip, we have five boxes of 308, 12 boxes of 9 mil, and 14 boxes of shotgun. We're chilling. <laughs> we are chilling massively. So I'm gonna go waddle my way back. Um, I'm gonna go park up north of the prison a bit, and we're just gonna go to sleep here. 
Um, I, I have no problems with sleeping out here. And then in the morning, what I think we do is we set up the siren light bar on that police vehicle we found. We get all the zombies riled up in one area and we let her rip. Yeah, it's all coming together, my plan. And we'll see how many zombies we can kill this episode alone. It's going to be a little bit of work and it's going to require a little bit of planning, but it'll be well worth it. We have so much freaking stuff right now. We are chilling massively. <laughs> okay, uh, if we go up north a bit and we park our car next to like a wall or something, we should be able to avoid, uh, you know, getting harassed by a bunch of zombies here. And would you look at that? The night went by without any problems. I'm going to leave the van up here because it's pretty far away from the zombies. I'll take a few snacks on the way. We have some melted ice cream, some peanut butter, and we have 11 boxes of shock and shells, 12 boxes of nine mil. I think we are chilling massively. We also have our Molotov cocktail, though I will probably just go grab the other just in case we need it. And then we're going to we're going to start off the sirens and it's going to be a big old bash, splish splash. We're here to kill. <laughs> so let me hop inside this police vehicle. Turn on that light bar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Which is which is better? I like the uh, the alarm. Yeah, I like the alarm. Let's bring them all in right now. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you know, they're hearing it. We're going to start off with our nine mil and just taking off like that, the, the, you know, the few that are coming in right now. I love guns in this game, by the way. There's, I, there's nothing better than blasting off a gun in the middle of a damn zombie horde as hundreds flock miles to see what the hell's going on here. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's all about. Love it here. Absolutely love it here. Oh my lord, they are just streaming out of that prison right now. <laughs> okay, might have bitten off a bit more than I could chew right now, but you know what? We're having fun, and that's all that matters at the end of the day, you know? Good stuff, me. That was a big chunk taken care of, and I see a gap that I could fit myself towards as well. Just like that, bada-bam, bada-boom. We're getting them all riled up. I'm gonna expect a lot of these zombies to start to turn into shadows very soon. Oh my lord, you wanna know the funniest thing? That's not even all the damn zombies right now. <laughs> There's still so many left inside, and I find that hilarious. But we're, I think we're I think we're doing a pretty good uh pretty good part so far. I need to take off the choke tube in this thing, by the way. I think the choke tube is really messing us up when it comes to uh, weapon spread right now. So I'm going to do this a bit on the fly, and I'm going to see if I can pull it off right now. Let's see it. Uh, nice, we got it. Let's see how much more damage we can get on this thing now. Oh, yeah, that's where it's at. The choke tube was really messing us up, and now we're back at full damage potential. There's so many zombies. There's so freaking many. Look at that ball on the mini-map right now. Holy heck. I still want to wait for a lot of them to stop streaming out of the prison. They still are finding their way over towards me. And I really want to encourage them just in this massive ball before I, before I throw my Molotov cocktails, you know? I think that is going to be the best call. And shock and fire is the best way to lead them out right now. Whoop, nice try. Catch me with it. I've navigated hordes like this before, and as long as I'm not indoors, well, there's no need to worry. There's like about five zombies in that horde. Maybe more than five, six, maybe? <laughs> okay, I think we're looking pretty good when it comes to zombie count. Um, there's still quite a few in the back, but I think we got the majority of them out here. So... It's about time for the real fun to begin. Let's go grab ourselves a nice, handy-dandy Molotov cocktail. So, it was nice meeting all of you fine folks, but I'll see you in hell! Come on, drop it! Drop it! There it goes! <laughs> yes! Okay, we gotta round up the zombies real close in order to get as many kills as possible right now. That is a beautiful fire spray, though. Oh yeah, they're already dropping like flies. Look at that. Flames, Inferno, and Fury. How else do you want it, you know? How, does it get any better than this? I don't think it does.
Yes, come right on over. We're dropping them like flies. <laughs> oh, look at all of them. Yeah, but that fire don't feel too nice now, does it? We, we cleared out the, the main entrance, and now it's all about the interior of that prison. There's still gonna be oodles inside, by the way, but let's see how many we've killed so far. We've killed 200 with fire, 200 with firearms, and 110 with axes. So around 500 zombies. Not bad at all. And then you have to also have to account on everything else on top of here. Oh, buddy boy. We're gonna reach 1,000 zombie kills today. That's for damn sure. Okay, not bad at all. The entire outside is clear. And now all we gotta do is uh walk in, you know, take out the stragglers. And I think we can say that we cleared out the Rosewood prison in, 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 in like a few days as well. Not bad of a pace. I just have to be very cautious indoors now. This is where stuff starts to get a little bit funky, and I could get jumped in a second, you know? You've been around the block before. This is no problem for you. I'm trying to find a way into the cell blocks, and I think I might have taken a wrong turn down this way a bit. I think it might be up here just a tiny bit. Let's see. It. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, right there. That's, that's one taken care of, two taken care of. Let's get ready for a fight now. <laughs> I feel like a group could jump me at any minute right now. Nice. I really wish I had a suppressor right now. That would make this entire thing so much more cooler. Okay, clear. Clear. Zombie down here. A few of them, actually. Nice. Nothing our M9 can't handle, of course. Nice. This is so fun, by the way. <laughs> this is actually a blast right now. I... There's still so many zombies coming in, by the way. Let's go load up our pistol. And even the pistol is getting it. it it's, you know, fair share of kills right now. I mean, come on, dude! All right, nice. I think that's a majority of them that were uh, aggroed on me. So I guess now we clear out the damn cell blocks, huh? I mean, look at that. That is that is not a pretty look. Okay, that's going to be the main cell blocks taken care of. And I think the rest are going to be either upstairs or actually on the outside of it. Yeah, not bad. We also have all the guard keys, so we can just pop open every single one of these cells. No problem. We're not going to find much out of here aside from like lighters and maybe some, some like ramen noodles. So we're not here for the loot, though. We're here to send a message, you know? Okay, the rest of these are going to be outside, and that is this cell block uh, taken care of. So let's continue on down inside. I want to kill all the ones inside, and then we can do a nice little perimeter check after. And just like that, they're all dead. Okay, new level of reloading. I need to figure out a way to how to get inside there. Uh, also, there's a few zombies in the lot I need to take care of. Okay, that's going to be all of them that were actually inside the fenced-in area. The rest are outside, which I could care less about. Well, I guess now all we got to do is like a big old supercut of me killing everything else inside. There's not that much left. Other than like the cell block down south? I think we could take care of this with our hand axe, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, that's that group taken care of. One less zombie in this little, like, core area. I don't know how I'm gonna get on that other side, though. That's where most of the zombies are. There we go. Uh, there are two more over there. How the hell am I gonna reach them? You know, you really made life hard on me walking that far. Goodbye. And it looks like a couple more have seen me running around and they want some action. I'll give it to them. 
Sir, have you heard about your car's extended warranty? And just like that, the prison is clear. Every single zombie within this place is dead. Smitten down by Claudette's hands herself. Let's see how many zombie kills we got up to. Um, 155 with an X, 8 with our hands, 413 with the firearm, and 200 with fire, giving us just about 1,118 zombie kills in total. We've survived for four days, and, um, I feel pretty confident. And now that we have a little bit of extra ammo, I think we can clear out the rest of Rosewood tomorrow. Anyways, I'm gonna end the episode here. If you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. Peace the hell out, everyone.